Yo, it's Rackin' Kuma Corporation. Welcome back to another gym vlog. And we're back uh, recording the audio while I'm here. So actually, there's an interesting thing that's going to be happening today. And basically today, this camera you're seeing right now is my GoPro Hero 10. And this is what I'm gonna be recording audio with. So I'm gonna be talking to the camera directly to you guys here. And the uh, sets, so the actual sets that I'm gonna be doing with uh, you know squats today, because today's a leg day, is going to be actually filmed with my main camera, my pass on G7, so it's gonna have a bit of a different video picture profile going. So the exposure, for example, is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be more of that you know low exposure kind of aesthetic look that you saw in the previous gym vlogs with this cam with that camera in particular. And the reason is, unfortunately, uh, my main camera, main YouTube camera, is kind of old. So one of the problems is that it's a little too old and the, so the shielding against uh, high frequencies uh, that are emitted from the Rode uh, receiver, right, are being caught in the audio. So if I try to use this wireless mic setup with that camera, basically there's a lot of audio feedback. So it's like a high pitched squealing kind of screeching noise and that's just like not gonna fly. So I don't wanna berate your ears with that annoying noise. So basically I'm gonna be talking about my sets while almost like a la vlog style, you know, hand, holding the camera like this, you know, kind of talking about the set, how it went, uh, while overlaying the footage of my training with my main camera. And I don't know, it's gonna be a real pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a massive pain in the ass to do it that way. But uh, you know, if, if it's well received by you all, you viewers out there, then I'll continue to do it like this. If not, then I'm just gonna go straight up, just back to the GoPro and record all my sets with the GoPro, etc. Yeah, as I said, today's leg day. But before we get to the leg day, I have a quick word from the sponsor of our video today. Have you been struggling with finding the right breakfast for your cut? Or do you struggle with getting enough protein to fuel the gains? Well, look no further. Magic Spoon has plenty of delicious and nutritious cereals that are high in protein. With zero grams of sugar and 13 to 14 grams of protein per serving, Magic Spoon is the perfect way to start your day. It's gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Mix and match from the variety of flavor options, and personally, I really like the fruity option. Pick up a bundle box today using my link in the description to get $5 off your order. Shipping is available to the United States, Canada, and UK. Thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring. Now back to the video. All right, so I'm warming up the shoulders. Uh, I have a really tight shoulder, so I gotta do a lot of band work at the start. And then after the band work, I'm gonna be using a hip circle, warming up the legs so I don't wreck my wreck my body even more than it already is. All right, I'm just about done uh, with warming up the shoulders, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the squats. Let's do it. I just finished recording my warm-up sets, and uh, yeah, the first few, it felt good. It was moving nice and smooth. Uh, felt really easy, but then when I started getting into the later warm-up sets around like 195 or so, 190, it was feeling ridiculously heavy, and I think mainly because my knees are hurting. Um, I feel a lot of power being generated uh, through the bottom range, so out of the hole. But I feel like I'm sticking a little bit, and my knees are kind of shaking and creaking and aching a lot. So I'm definitely gonna have to tone it down quite a bit for the planned four by four today. I was supposed to do four sets of four, uh, 210, I think it was. Let me math. Yeah, 210, so four, about 460 something, 462, 463. Um, but I definitely can't, I'm not gonna be able to handle it. So I got my first working set here. I got 195 plus 205. So I got 205 um, on the bar, loaded up. We're gonna see if I can do a four by four. Uh, the first set might be a bit sketch, but hopefully it goes pretty well. Like I mentioned before, Tina's programming is like uh, alternating five days, six days. And so today, today is the start of the second week, so it's a six day, and she's running a push day today. So her bench was moving decently. Uh, her warm-up set looked really good, but then the first working set, which is supposed to be around six reps, uh, yeah, she only managed to get four. And you can, you can tell in the footage, like she just didn't breathe, right? So you, you need to breathe, right? You need to breathe. Uh, you need to create that intra-abdominal pressure. Uh, it really helps 
with generating power off the chest. And so one of the big problems for her is that she doesn't generate enough power off of her chest. So, you know, I think we gotta, I don't know, try different things, see if uh, some technique cues can help with that. Uh, for me, what helped me a lot with understanding how to press, with understanding how to generate that force off of my chest was doing um, pin presses, right? So I might start incorporating pin presses into our program just so that she starts to understand and really starts to uh, feel, right, that, that force generation. All right, so I guess let's talk about how those sets went. Uh, first set felt heavy as shit. I honestly thought I was gonna get folded by the bar. Uh, but looking back at the video, you know, it, it looked pretty easy. So, but watching the footage back and seeing the bar speed, it looked more like an RP7, probably had like three reps left in the tank, but mentally felt like an RP10. Moving on into the second set, it was even worse than the first set. It felt like an RP12, but it kind of moved basically the same. So I sat down for a bit, rewatched the footage, and then decided, you know what, I'm just gonna trust the footage and I'm, not, I'm just not gonna trust the body, right? Because I think just overall, uh, maybe I'm just a little bit more tired than usual today. Uh, maybe I just didn't sleep well today, uh, last night I mean. And so I was just trusting the footage instead of trusting what it felt like. Uh, set three, however, I nearly failed. I very nearly failed. Basically, you know, it was, it was just maximum effort at that point. And, yeah, I, I was really sitting for like five minutes debating to myself like, do I go for a set four or do I just take a step back? Uh, but then I, I took a bit of a longer break and I felt okay. My lower back was getting a little bit tight at that point, but I felt okay. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for a full four by four like I planned today. And sure enough, set four, it actually moved the best out of all the sets. So set one through three, it was like, I thought I was gonna die. And set four felt totally fine. So, you know, it just goes to show like, you know, warming up longer than you normally do can sometimes help a lot. And, you know, the first couple sets of your working sets may feel like ass, but don't let that discourage you. Kind of just keep that mental focus and, you know, trust in the, the video feedback that you get of the training because it may feel like an RP10, but it, it might not actually be an RP10. So yeah, mental. If the mind don't want it, the body's not gonna do it, as I say. So, I'm moving on into some uh, pause deadlifts. I'm not going heavy. It's literally just to practice the technique of uh, slack pulling. And I am, yeah, going back to conventional, just cause, you know, sumo, it's really hurting my hips and it's starting to affect my squat a lot more. So, I think I'm just gonna switch back to conventional cause it's just gonna be better for me overall. But yeah, I got the uh, place loaded up. I'm gonna get ready to hit some deads. All right, so I finished out the workout with some leg extensions and leg curls, uh, basically just using this as sort of, um, you know, as an accessory, sure, but as you guys know, I am a power builder, so I do like to work uh, some hypertrophy ranges as well. And yeah, this uh, workout was actually last week, so this has been um, a week in the making, if you wanna call it like that. But basically, yeah, sorry I haven't really been editing. I was actually super ridiculously busy this past week, uh, past two weeks uh, doing some stuff that I can't really talk about. But anyway, thank you again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring. Make sure you click the link in the description. Uh, use my link and get $5 off your order. The cereal is actually really good. Uh, I wouldn't be promoting this sponsorship if I didn't believe in the product. And yeah. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.